The Democratic National Committee is moving across the border to fundraise ahead of 2020. One America's Bobby Dupree has the details. The DNC appears to be taking its fundraising efforts to Mexico. According to the State Department, around 1.5 million Americans currently live in the country. DNC Chair Tom Perez is set to hold multiple events in Mexico's capital with American expatriates next month. Access to those events will cost anywhere from $25 to $15,000. It's illegal for American political campaigns to accept donations from non-U.S. citizens. So in order to go to those events, attendees are being required to enter a passport or green card number during registration. We've worked so hard to uh, gain control of the House of Representatives. I think we're going to get more seats in 2020, and we want to make sure that we are uh, fully together, and we're certainly going to do everything we can. to. Some may suggest the party's heading to Mexico as it's struggling to raise money here in the U.S. It also comes as the DNC is reportedly almost $6 million in debt. It has yet to release its fundraising numbers for the month of July, but on Tuesday, the RNC announced it's raised nearly $21 million. Back in June, Republicans also brought in a whopping $20 million, while the DNC raised just 8.5. Republicans are attributing the success to the committee's grassroots approach to fundraising. I'm not taking anything for granted. Okay. Okay. We know, and so from an RNC perspective, we have a staff on the ground in these battleground states. We have a website, GOP.com. According to the RNC, its total fundraising for the 2019-2020 cycle has risen to $117.9 million. Bobby Dupree, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.